Fashion lovers, a video you're about to watch is on how this lovely skirt and lovely pe peplum top is being made. It is very detailed, very, very detailed. I will, I will want you to watch to the fullest to understand very well. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe with friends and family. Thank you. Hi, fashion lovers. Welcome back to my channel. My name is The Remain City Cards. So today I want to explain how to sew a simple peplum top. I'm going to cut the upper part, the flare and the sleeve flare also. So if you are interested, I want you to watch to the fullest because it will be very it will be a very detailed one. So now for you to cut the upper part of your uh, of your princess uh, of your top, of your peplum top, your normal top. So they call it the basic body, but that is the upper part of your clothes. It is the most important thing. You need to know how to measure and how to sketch and cut. So now, this is a blouse length uh, clothes we are cutting. And the length of the blouse is what, 25 inches. So it is just, let's say, you cut the upper part and also the flare. Okay. For you to get the calculation, firstly is you cut the upper part first. And the upper part is the half length measurement. You measure from the person's shoulder to the half length. From here, the shoulder to the half length of your client. So the half length of this person is what? 16 inches. So now I'm going to measure the 16 inches. Are you seeing it? You measure the 16 inches which is the what the half length and if you are folding clothes i've always said in my videos that you fold your clothes using the biggest of your measurements with two or two and a half or three inches it depends on how you normally put your inches but i like putting what two inches as my what seam allowance so you add two inches to the biggest of the measurements so the biggest of our upper part measurement is what our bust measurement and the bust measurement is 35 inches so for you to get how you are going to fold you are going to divide the 35 inches into four so 35 divided by four gives us what eight and a half and quarter so you now add two inches to the eight and a half and quarter it gives you what 11 uh if you add two inches to eight and a half and quarter that's ten and a half and quarter approximately 11 inches so that is how i folded the clothes you see that is 11 inches you are seeing there so for the shoulder measurement our shoulder measurement is what 15 inches are you seeing it so 15 inches the arm o is what 9 inches so the bust measurement is eight and a half and quarter which is 35 divided by four plus two inches seam allowance for the waist our waist is 30 30 divided by four gives us what 7.5 plus one inch for that one and a half for seam allowance then you connect the two you connect the two so for the shoulder this is 7.5 then from here for you to get how you curve your arm you can simply raise it by 2.5 and just make a curve down or just take your measurements this eight uh 7.5 take it here take your shoulder measurement downward are you seeing it take your shoulder measurement downward i've taken it downward I seen 7.5 downward then you just from two inches here just slant a little or you can simply use you can simply make use of this your arm o curve i do advise people especially my students to get this arm o curve i bought it is it not 800 from Lagos? i do say it's 900 naira here so it's okay you can get it or you can get the other play uh, plastic one so you can just use this it really helps to just place it on the length of your arm o, and it goes to your shoulder measurements and you use it to curve this really helps you to get the measurements of your arm o at once but 
when I was learning, my boss did not teach me Jiu-Jitsu. So without this, I can't work. So that is it. That is the arm O curve measurement. So now, um, the style I'm sewing is just it is a tattoo standing collar. Call it tattoo neck standing collar. So I'm going to be using two and a half by three inches to get the neck of the clothes. But I'm going to tell you that this one will be the back side of the clothes I'm cutting. Why the one I'm going to cut next will be the front part because the zip is coming what from the front downward. It has zip in the front. Do you get it? So I'm just using this to explain it. Assuming the one you are going to be cutting won't be zip at the front. So this is the way to cut the front part of your basic body borders of your clothes except if you are putting breast that but this my explanation doesn't need any breast that and if you are cutting after cutting you just need to put the lining turn the neck and take the dart measurement the dart measurement i'm using for her is what 4.5 by 4. so you just place your dart i made a video on how to put that on clothes too so Let's cut this. What I'm just going to cut next is the back side of it. Sorry, let me just slant the shoulder. I'm going to slant the shoulder here. Like you can slant your shoulder using half or three quarter inches. So I use, like using three quarter inches to slant my shoulder. From your next side, you just slant it to your shoulder measurement. You can simply use your rolling tape to just slant it to your shoulder measurements are you seeing it i hope you are seeing what i'm sketching clearly so let me just cut it and put the back side which will be the front side of the style i'm sewing thank you so this is it see this is what i measured now so I'm just going to place this to cut the back. But the, my own back here will be the front part of my clothes. So you can see, for me to manage it, you know, you can simply put it like this. But you can see when you put it this way, it doesn't give you the zip allowance and the place is short. Just always learn with management. So it's very good to know how to manage clothes when cutting. So this is it. I'm using two inches too for the zip allowance for the back. You can use this as your back, but this is my own front of the style I'm sewing. Just iron it so it will relax. So after that, check whether it is complete the two inches you need. You can even use okay it's okay it's okay which is okay so then you cut out So, did you see that? Very fast, sharp, sharp. We are almost true. I told you the channel is beginners friendly. You learn a lot from this channel. Just be consistent with it. Don't take a step on your notification bell. And don't forget to like, comment, and share. You can see I'm lowering the back side with one and a half inches. And the wideness of the neck, I'm using 2.5. For the length of the neck 1.5 for the wideness 2.5 inches so for the for the front part don't let me do mistake see to make it so easy let me just fold the zip allowance using my iron i won't make mistake
so this is it so this is my front which is the neck is two points which the neck is 2.5 and the length is three inches then you just take don't let it to be too deep just curve it a little can you see don't curve it like this just curve it shape it small then you can see it this is the back side mm -hmm. then you cut out so then we'll cut this with lining you know you are putting a collar at the neck side you don't need to turn the neck just turn it with lining join your shoulder your side insert the dart then you put your collar i'll show you how to put the collar for the back side uh, for the down side of it which is the 360 peplum some questions from the comment section some people were asking me different types of play so I, I could remember when I was learning the familiar flare and familiar with this 180 flare that we first cut one like this. See the way we normally do it. We want to cut the flare. We first cut one like this. We share the waist into four. Then we cut one. Mm, we measure the waist measurements. You cut one half like this. You understand? Just cut it out. The second one, if you want to cut it, you will now use this one and place and has a uh, zip allowance. But you know, everything has advanced, things has becoming change, has started changing, and the fashion industry has now become big, uh, a big enterprise and a big industry now. So another method that is existing now is the double uh, uh, method, just cut it in a four corner way. Let me just explain. I want to cut, that's 180 flare, that's how to fold the 180 flare. You divide it into four, then you first cut the first layer and to the second layer you had your zip allowance but to this one you don't need that you only need to fold your clothes into four which is a 360 uh, degree flare you can imagine if you remember when you were in school we have angle 90 angle 180 and angle 360 so it's still the same thing um, but I want school to buy my marima sini bobo ishe yin emani ah like me I don't like mathematics and I'm seeing mathematics in the fashion work just imagine so now I want to explain the 360 and if you normally watch my video very well you see that I've dropped the 720 degree flare you can't go there click on the link then you learn about it it's very detailed and very easy to cut so for the 360 flare you need to do is how are we going to get the length of our flare? How are we going to get the waist measurement? How are we going to get the circumference of our flare? That is the most important thing you need to know before cutting your flare. Now, the first thing you know you need to know is the length of the flare. The length of the blouse is what 25 inches, and we've cut the half length from the blouse, which is the 16 inches for the half length, and the length of the blouse is 25. You, first thing is you minus that's um half length from the length of your blouse so 16 minus 25 give us what nine inches right okay so the length of your flare is what nine inches but remember but remember you are going to join your flare the down part of your flare you turn it with lining and also join the um flare with your half length so you have to add something to it you can simply make your flare 10 inches you can make it 9.5 mm? like me now mostly i don't like measuring blouse length i'm used to 25 to almost everybody except if the person is a muslima as in is a muslim that doesn't like when he or she bend down that our clothes should be showing so i like putting down on like 26 inches so now if i want to cut the length of this flame i would like to use just 10 inches the reason why i'm using 10 inches is that i, I would have used 9.5 the reason why I'm using 10 inches is the person that owns this clothes, I've not seen her before. I don't know the kind of thing she likes. So I'm just going to use 9 inches. If you use 9.5 or 9 inches or 10 inches, it's not bad. It's okay. But I will always advise, don't let your peplum to be too long. Because if it is too long, it will not have a nice fitting on your body. So now, 
I said what you the first thing you look at is the length of your um, the length of your flare, which we said is what's going to be what 10 inches. So another thing you are going to look at is how to calculate the the circumference that will give you the waist measurement of your flare. Should I come again? The second thing you are going to consider is the circumference, the length of the circumference, the length that will give you the circumference of the length of your flare. Okay. I Me, mean, I like doing this before cutting so that I will not be parabolating on my clothes. So what will I do? So the first thing I like doing is I'll just put a clothes this way. I will now say, okay, let me check what is what. Let me check what's going to give me the circumference of my flare, which is my flare. My the waist of the client is what thirty, and thirty divided by four is what seven point five. Then I'll add some allowance to it, which is two inches. So two plus seven point five give us what. 8.5 9.5 okay so 9.5 inches so i'm going to look for this the length length that will give me the circumference of 9.5 hmm? i should come again the waist of the client is 30 hmm? so i will divide 30 into 4 30 divided by 4 is 7.5 i'll add 2 inches to the 7.5 it gives me what 9.5 inches i will now look for the length that will give me the circumference of this 9.5. So I'm going to use 5 and quarter. Let me check if this 5 and quarter. So in, on your own measurement, just check on what will give you your own circumference. Do it the way I'm explaining. I'm very sure you'll get it also. Just think of your waist measurement. Add 2 inches to it and check what will give you the circumference of your waist. So now let's check. You can see this is 9 with 5 and quarter. Hmm? This is 9 inches using 5 and quarter. So 5 and quarter does not give us what? The um, circumference with the allowance. So let's use 5 and a half. So what you're going to do now is let's we calculating it using 5 and a half. 5 and a half plus 10 inches, which is the length of your flare. So it becomes what, 15 points, uh, 15 and a half. So what you do is just take your clothes this way, hmm? measure 15 and a half. Are you seeing it? 15 and a half and fold it twice like this. Are you seeing it? Hmm? 15 and a half, fold it twice. Or you can even make it 16 inches in case of whether the clothes folding or not. Just make it 16 inches. Because I like to, you see, this 16 inches. Just fold your clothes using 16 inches. Fold it into two. Mm -hmm. See, are you seeing me? After doing it like that, just fold it. Make sure you are using that same 16 inches to fold your flare. So let's check whether this is up to... 16 inches okay okay this is 16 inches are you getting it now please if you have any difficulty in cutting this don't forget to drop your comments in the comment section below i'm always available to attend to any complaint or any comment you have or any challenges you have concerning this or any of my videos so now this is 16 inches are you seeing it this is also what 16 inches you know the actual thing the measurement we need is what 15.5 inches so the first thing you are going to do is get what i told you that will give us the circumference which i said is what 5.5 so this is 5.5 5.5, 5.5, 5.5. So what you are going to do is just you need to what? Circle it, connect it together. Do you see it? I see it. So after that, you now measure the 10 inches needed for the length of your flare. Don't tell me you don't understand this thing. Hmm? Just give me some thumbs up after watching this video. Just let me see the likes and comments lovely comments 
I love hearing good good things. Just let me say the comment, good comment about it. Because the explanation is very, very clear. So you can see this is 10 inches recycle it. For the for that top you are seeing on the screen, I'm still going to add put lining and add uh, gum stay, that normal stay on it. You can add the thicker one, it depends on the payment the customer pay you. So you can see it. Then I'll just what cut this out. So before cutting this out, let me calculate this again. Did you see it? That 9.5 we are looking for. Let me bend down again. See it though. You see. So 5.5 gave me the circumference of what? 9.5, which is the waist measurement divided by 4, 7.5 plus 2 inches seam allowance. Do you get it? So give me some thumbs up that, that way. I want to be hearing it from here. Pa, pa, po, 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 po. Thank you very much. All right. So that's the cutting of the peplum. Are you seeing it? See. So for the style I'm, I'm, uh, that, that is on the screen, I'm going to put gum stay and also put uh, bias. I'm going to use white bias on it. You see? I think it's about four or five layers. I'm going to put it one, two, three. You know, if I put the gum stain on it to make it stand more and just sketch it. And before you do that, what you're going to do is you measure how you want the bias to go, whether half, half inch difference, just after sewing, just move it like half, you leave it again, half inches, then you do it, you calculate it around, then you start placing your bias. Let me cut the center. I see it. So you just start placing your bias from the mouth side, from the tip side like this. You know, when you put the gum stay to make it hold very well. And even when you are putting the bias, you find it very lovely and your work will come out neatly. So you can see, you can just move it gently, gently, gently. And it will be very neat and fine. So it depends on the layers you want the um, bias to be. So that's that. So for the flare, the sleeve side and also the collar, for the sleeve side of the clothes, you notice it's 180 degree flare. And before this, I think I've explained how to calculate the 180. And another thing I want you to look at that picture. And even when you are cutting your sleeve for as in a flare sleeve, is don't always allow the length of your flare sleeve to be equal. Let me explain. Don't, okay, assuming the sleeve is what now? Let's say everything. When you are calculating your sleeve is let me use this paper as an example okay i want to cut the flare now this is a circle for the amount of the flare so you now measure it as a 10 okay let's use eight inches okay you now measure eight inches you now do all the eight inches eight inches eight inches and you cut it out it's not always okay that way because this one will come down, everything will just come down. You need this, this is the down of your armpit. Everything will just come down. Jabala, jabala. Maybe it's Ale. Do you understand? It will not be okay that way. Always let the sleeve side, the upper part, let it cover the down part. So if you want to do that, just make sure that the length, there's a way I normally do that. So let me just use this as an example for you. So if you are cutting it as big flare, as in 360 degree clay, after folding it this way, just let me, you want me to waste my paper. The people will pay for my paper. Oh, I'm tiny. <laughs> All right, so just do it this way. Let's use this. So this is it now. Hmm? This is the flare that you want to cut out. So let's assume this is the circle of your flare. Let's just assume this is the circle of your flare. Hmm? So instead of you to just calculate what will give you that circumference and cut out, I don't do mine that way. You get it. What I do is that before cutting, I'll just lift my flare at least two inches or two and a half inches. Do you see it? Mm -hmm. Then I will now fold this. 
then cut out what will give me that circumference I'm looking for. If you check one of my video there, one asymmetric gown, I'm putting on blue gown, you will see the way I did that flare of the sleeve. So you just cut this out, then you cut your next one out. So you just imagine when you put this on as your flare. The bigger one we, sorry, is paper. This one will come, go up. You understand? This one will go up and this one will cover this. So that's just what I'm trying to explain. I hope you understand what I'm trying to explain very well. So now, for this tie we are cutting. I said I used two years to cut this paper on and it is a flare, but not 360 flare, it is 180 flare. So if you want to go about it, all you need to do is, the first thing is just find what will give you the circumference of your ham O. She's using bus 35 and the calculation of her ham O, total ham O should not be more than 18 inches, which is nine. So if you want to cut your ham O now, let me ju just explain it. This is your ham O. You understand? This is your ham O. Just take your tape. After joining here, just take your tape. After joining, look where, shoulder. After finding out whether the length will be okay, then after you now measure your total arm O. Make sure it gives you nine inches or that kind of measurement, 35. But for me, I do use 8.5. I'm using both 33. So for myself, I will make sure I calculate mine to be 8.5. So for somebody using both 37, 38, 39, 40, make sure it is 9.5. It is if it is more than 40, 42, 44, something, just use um 10 inches as the total arm O measurement. And I'm very sure it will be okay. So now for that, our total arm O is what nine inches. Our total arm O is what nine inches. So I'm going to look for what will give me the circumference of that nine inches, which will be what 5.5. I've tried it and I've calculated it. 5.5. Are you seeing it? So this is 5.5. I'll take that 5.5. I'll circle it this way and I'll measure the length of the flare. I'm going to use total, the total neck of uh, length of that flare is eight inches or uh, seven inches, but I'm going to use what? Eight inches because I'm still going to turn it with lining and also add stay. Because if you are looking at that picture very well, you see that the flare stands very well. So this is eight inches. I'm just trying to manage this clues. So eight inches, then I'll connect this eight inches. If you check here, it is not up to eight inches is five inches is okay because i'm managing the cloth it will come out fine too see then i will cut it out let me check this whether it gives me what 9.5 inches because i'm going to use half inch to join the uh the side that will go to the ham o i'm going to use it to join the the flare so this is it now can see it's not giving you that nice shape you just try to slant it but if you are cutting and your clothes rich just cut your 180 flare and adjust it the way i did the paper explanation so now just see it just see are you seeing it see the way it looks like can you see how it looks like now so i'll cut two of these and also check whether it will reach two more flare if it doesn't reach that means i'm going to use one and also put buyers at the taping side at the downside too like the way it is i'll put this so when you put your state will stand just put your buyers at the tape side too the buyers is just 150 it's 150 under it depends on your area now white and black buyers is cause it's 150 but you can still get it under naira so We'll use this to cut the second one and i will show you if the second step so for the second step i tried to manage the clothes to cut the second step so all i did was to put it here and cut out the circumference and i measured 6.5 inches for the length of the second flare if you look at the picture the difference of the two flare is not that much it's not that obvious so all you need to do is just to shape it out as you are learning make sure you learn how to manage your clothes 
with that you can also retain customer if you know how to manage clothes they will really appreciate you and say oh i like you because you know how to what manage clothes do you see it do you see the way it will look like so if i put gum stain now i will show you how it looks like after sewing so i'll just cut the second step so this is the process of putting the buyers on the clothes all you need to do is just to give some gap and start placing it you can see this is very easy you just have to be patient with it so that it will be very neat you can see and i added this clothes is article material so i added a lining on the article because if i put the gum stay direct it will show so on top of the first lining i added paper stay you know me with neat work i added paper stay and also add gum stay to the lining so it's if you are doing your own it may be ankara you are using it's not necessary you had anything to you ankara just the gums to just put stay on it do you understand so that's just the process of doing it i've made the sleeve yesterday i've made the sleeve sorry i've made the sleeve of just the down part this is the sleeve the two-step sleeve so this is the first one which this is the second one can you see it so this is the sleeve side let me just place it so that you can see how it looks like before we do the finishing can you see does it look like the style all right so let's finish it and you see the outcome thank you very much